Hello my fantastic viewers, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, hello, welcome. I hope you learn more about hamsters and subscribe if you want more content like this. So today's video is going to be about hamster health and yes, you need this for your hamster first aid kit. It's always good to be ready whenever stuff happens because accidents can happen. I can guarantee you that. Is very important to be ready okay so let's see what I have here so the most important thing that you're going to need is a one milliliter syringe you'll be needing this to force feed your hamster if they can eat here are the following force feeding products that I'm going to talk to you about one by one let's say your hamster is really old and your hamster can't walk to their football which is very alarming by the way to add into that statement here are the signs of an elderly hamster lack of energy lack of sleep loss of appetite almost two years old and hair loss consult your vet if you see the signs so what you're going to need is a baby food you can find this in any grocery stores just make sure that when you read the label and the ingredients make sure it's all organic and make sure that there's no words that you don't know <laughs> so like you have to make sure that you you're going to read no gmo ingredients and no artificial flavor of colors and no bpa packaging so those are the important words that you're going to remember okay let's proceed with the force feeding products critical care herbivore so this is like a supplement for your hamster so this is the one that you use to force feed and so the next thing that you'll be needing is a pedalite electrolyte solution make sure that it's unflavored so you use this for hamsters that are um, de dehydrated so in order for you to know that if your hamster is dehydrated you just lift the the back portion of the neck you're just gonna lift it like kind of like a pinch soft pinch so you pull that up and then if that skin that you pulled gently went down like really fast that means your hamster is not dehydrated but if it went back really slow then that means your hamster is dehydrated if you guys have no clue on what i'm talking about here's a visual presentation our model for today is going to be one of my hamsters his name is casper now before we start i need to talk to you guys about dehydration this is a topic that's very serious and i need you guys to know about it therefore i need you guys to listen and take notes to avoid this from happening always check your hamster's water bottle if it's working since dehydration has many symptoms let's go over step by step so step one is observation for example check if your hamster is breathing is your hamster hyperventilating just know that hyperventilation is one of the signs of dehydration step two check your hamster's body did your hamster quickly lost weight or is the fur of your hamsters looking rough here's the easiest way to check if your hamster is dehydrated so as you hold your hamster you need to see the back portion of the neck because you're going to gently pull the skin up of your hamster and then you're going to release it remember if the skin went down fast then your hamster is not dehydrated on the other hand if the skin went down slow then your hamster is dehydrated How to properly force feed so what you're going to do is that you're going to use a one milliliter syringe and you're just going to force feed your hamster and when you do that make sure that it's not directly like this make sure it's like on the sides of the cheeks because if you put it like that they're gonna choke like don't do that how to use these force feeding products so first thing that you're going to need is a small container um, this specific container that I have is the one that I got from the uh, reptile section. It's called the Imagitarium. Um, I got this from Petco. Uh, I'll put a screenshot in here on how much is it and if you're interested into 
buying one and then the second thing that you're going to need is a disposable syringe i got this from amazon you'll be seeing another screenshot over here and how much is it so you're going to need a one milliliter syringe make sure that the tip doesn't have the needle and make sure it's ha the tip is thin like i said it should be one milliliter this this is the specific syringe that i'm telling you guys without you know what you're going to get next time because most of the syringe that they have there is the ones that i that has the needle and this one doesn't so this is the tip that i was telling you about uh, make sure that it's one milliliter syringe this one doesn't come with the caps unfortunately but this would work because it's a one-time use and anyway basically when you're going to get the pedalite this one the pedalite so you're going to you put the pedalite just a little bit and remember when you open the pedalite make sure to only use it for within 48 hours and then after 48 hours you need to throw it away I bet you're wondering why do we need to follow the open due date here's why according to the website of pedalite once the pedalite is opened or prepared, environmental microorganisms can potentially come into contact with the product from the air or from direct contact. So how much should you give to your hamster? Pedalite goes a long way, so make sure you use this recommended amounts and three ways to give them the pedalite. The first option that you have is to give them half a dropper every 4 hours. The second option is to give them 0.1 milliliter every 10 minutes within an hour. The third option is to place a drop of pedalite on its lips every half an hour. Make sure to give it to them slowly as more than one drop can be dangerous. Alright, so for the critical care herbivore, for this one, once you open this one, it should be used up until for 30 days and then after 30 days you should throw it away so before you open the package make sure to shake it and then mix one part of critical care with two parts of warm water so the measurement should be one half teaspoon of critical care and as much water as you need but should be more than the critical care mix it up until the, it reaches a muddy consistency to feed them the critical care, you can either use a plastic spoon or use a syringe in order to do so. In this video, I would recommend to just use the syringe because it's a straightforward and it's easier for you to force feed your hamster. So for the following video, it's just a visual presentation for you guys. You don't have to follow the measurements that I did, I'm just showing you on how to get the right consistency. and then you're basically just going to mix it with water make sure that it's the purified water and then use a disposable spoon and you're basically just going to mix the mixture and as you can see it's sort of looking like a baby food so this is the one that you use to force feed your hamsters. Usually you use this one for hamsters that are aging or hamsters that are like not feeling well. So you're going to mix it like that. Okay, it actually smells like banana which is the flavor apple banana. This is a little messy by the way. Consistency is like that. And let's see if the syringe can take it yeah so that's the consistency that you need to take so basically the syringe is your tool for you to know that it's easy for your hamster to take it all right so next that we're going to learn about is the uh, baby food so for this one once you open it make sure to serve it within 24 hours so after 24 hours if there's still something left uh throw it away because it's bad if you still use it after 24 hours and you have two options basically you can feed it to your hamster to do it <laughs> what the fuck? That's so disgusting. 
So you have two options. You can slowly push the baby food into like this and feed it to your hamster if your hamster is attentive to you so i bet you're wondering why baby food is a good thing to have when your hamster has trouble eating solid foods or if it's still nursing ill or elderly it can be fed to your hamster as nutritious treats however it shouldn't be their main diet it is pretty easy to feed your hamster baby food you can either feed it to them hot or cold so do the same thing do the same process do the same method that we did earlier of course you need your syringes again and these are st sterilized by the way so you don't have to worry if you're still skeptical about it um, just get some hot water and just like wash it away like that see it's the same consistency that we did on the critical care and yeah that's pretty much it and make sure you only use this once the syringe next on the list is this one you're going to need a clean hand towel you need to have something to hold your hamster put your hamster in the middle of a hand towel so it's easier to hold him or her then wrap the hand towel around your hamster for easier way to force feed Once you're done with this, this is how you let go of your hamster. I recommend you to put the hand towel in a ziplock to avoid it from getting dirty. And then you're gonna need is a, I already mentioned this on my hamster care video, digital kitchen scale. So since we're talking about hamster's health, you need this because this is your answer. This is how you check. This is how you monitor your hamster's health. Check out my hamster care video for more information about hamster's weight check. Link in description. It's very important to record your hamster's weight every once a week because this helps you check your hamster's health. At the same time, you need to be mindful on how important checking their weight can be. The next on the list is cotton swabs. This is used to apply ointment on smaller areas. Next is cotton pads. This is used to cleaning wounds and applying ointment on larger areas. Next is electric heating pad. This will help maintain your sick hamster's temperature up. You should also include a hot and cold pack just in case. I prefer using the electric version than the hand warmers because it lasts longer. There's a heat-resistant cloth material to protect your hamster's skin from burning. You can put another hand towel on top of the electric heating pad if necessary. Electric heating pads have heat controls, so I suggest to consult your vet for instructions. This size is perfect for a hamster. And finally, Penny Buck Plus. This is a good prebiotics for your hamsters. This helps produce good bacteria to your hamster's digestive system. Since antibiotics upset the abdomen of hamsters, this Benebac gel helps your hamster's intestine feel relieved. I bet that you're asking what is Benebac? Benebac is a nutritional gel that can be given to your hamster if they experience any change in their nutrition or environment. One common change is wet tail or diarrhea. With this nutritional gel, it will help them get better and get them back to their original selves. So how much Benny back should you give to your hamster? A little goes a long way with this product. It is recommended to use the gel instead rather than the product as it is going to be easier to feed it to them. The way to feed them this gel is by giving them a drop by holding your hamster gently and directly sticking the tube into the hamster's mouth. Also, always remember that being organized helps you not to panic, so you should put everything in one container. The specific container that I have is from Costco. It's around $11.99. I recommend you to do this method because like I said, being organized helps you not to panic. So just in case something happens to your hamster, you're ready. 
just remember that first aid kits are just like something that you can use to act fast while waiting for your old vet. It's never a permanent solution to heal your hamster. So make sure to contact your vets as soon as possible. I suggest you should have your vet's contact information ready. Okay guys, that's it for the video. I hope you guys learned so much and I hope you guys remember everything that I told you. Um, everything is important important <laughs> everything is important don't forget to like subscribe if you haven't and comment down below if you have more ideas you want me to do and if you have video suggestions i'm going to take the time to reconsider see you guys Bye.